Alrighty, so this video here will involve getting all the way up to the point of having these outboard leading edges uh, fully riveted together, not necessarily riveted onto um, that spar just yet, but at least nested in place here as you see it there. Um, so a lot of video to go through and honestly overall um, was not too complicated. It was just a lot of prep work because of course there's a lot of ribs to go through. Uh, let's just see down the line there. Uh, so a lot of prep work. I was able to knock out both of those while in between kind of waiting um, on having uh, extra hands to be able to do uh, top skin. So both of them are done now. Only one is nested. The other one that you'll see on camera me completing is inside the house. Uh, so anyways, we'll get to it and you'll see the video of making these beautiful outboard leaning edges. All right, so I made this block here back on the tail cone uh, because that one had a lot of J stiffeners that needed to have a 5 16 um, uh, 5 16 inch line inside of that J stiffener down the length of it for lining up with holes uh, to then later on match drill. So anyways, made this block here out of regular old MDF. Um, back then, real useful. I already marked out one uh, J stiffener just now just to verify that things are still centered and running perfectly, which they are. Uh, but anyways, that's what I'll be using here. So quick update here. Um, riveting is going really well. Um, I have the back side here. I'll show you on the camera real quick. Uh, probably the lighting is all blown out, but um, anyways, uh, all the rivets on this uh, bottom side are, are all done. Um, so no complaints there. Uh, as far as on the front side, I did have a little bit of an oopsie, uh, which in the grand scheme of things is minimal. Um, you'll see there uh, where actually I was using, I, uh, I know I kind of um, put down, not this head, but the other one, the non-swivel, non-rubberized one. Um, I, that one generally is my preferred method, but this was one of the first rivets that I did on this base stiffener. And uh, normally I'm pretty good about not having it slip, but man, it slipped on me and I had no time. Uh, my, my reflex wasn't there. So anyways, a little bit of a kiss mark there, um, but again, grand scheme of things, minimal. Um, but anyways, as far as what I'm using and uh, how I'm doing it, just using the swivel head with that rubberized cap on it. I uh, still do have the tape on it, uh, just to kind of keep that scuff, keep the scuffing off of the, uh, the aluminum there. Um, but just using my long ape arms, reaching inside, and bucking. So you'll see I do have towels that I've kind of stuffed in there. Anyways, towels there help just in case I happen to drop that tungsten bucking bar reaching in and out of here. Um, so that's why you see those there. Um, but anyways, knocked out pretty much everything. I'm down to the last six rivets. Of course, the hardest to reach ones I'm leaving for last year. Uh, so, uh, anyways, six more rivets to go. I have these three here and then these three there. Uh, so I'll knock that on, on camera real quick here. Um, but honestly, nothing too exciting. It is uh, advantageous to have long tape arms like I do. Uh, so it is, it is handy because I'm fully reached inside of there, uh, which I'll put the camera down and show you. But anyways. Long arms or two people, it's probably needed. Um, but set this camera down and uh, give you a look. Alrighty, and the J 
joy of uh, doing the wings is everything you do once, you get to do twice. So, on to the next one. So, on to outboard reading edge number two. So, this will be for the left wing. Uh, my previous self was nice to my future self, my current me. <laughs> Uh, that's confusing. No, anyways, uh, I had previously already prepped all of the ribs together, so all the ribs already fluted, did them all at once as a batch early on, um, as well as got this, uh, this outer strip cut off of the tank scan previously, already deburred, already ready to go. So um, this it was super nice. So now I'm able to, anyways, able, now I'm able just to jump right on into things. I'm gonna go ahead and get this booing taken off here. I'll get it back in that cradle like before. Put it all together, um, and then I'll have some match drilling to do. I'll have to match drill the J stiffener um, all the way down the line, like the last one. Uh, but you also do have extra holes along uh, these outer, uh, the, I guess, uh, rearward most uh, rib holes um, are actually missing on the ribs. So uh, the ribs, as you get them from bends, um, they come. Uh, most of them, everything but one, um, needs to have that uh, final or a, uh, the rearwardmost hole drilled, and that's match drilled from the skin. So again, it's tempting to um, go ahead and uh, dimple the skin, dimple the ease, just get it all thrown together, uh, but don't do that. Uh, get it put together first, find out where there should be holes, where there are not holes, um, get those drilled out, remove it, good to go from there. Anyways, I'm gonna jump into things here, um, get this, Blue stuff off, fight this for the next 30 minutes here. Uh, get all this bluing off and then uh, we'll get to mass drilling and dimpling. It's hard to get a good angle of uh, these rivets here, but uh, these sections here that go under this, this J stiffener um, are really, really difficult to get to. You will not find, or I'm, I'm finding, uh, that this won't fit to get um, in behind that J stiffener because it does have um, a lip that kind of blocks, blocks that rivet uh, where the rivet's kind of sitting uh, just underneath it in a way that you can't get that rectangular uh, tungsten bucking bar in there. Um, so. Uh, you'll see here I'm using uh, both of these, which are my papa's old uh, bucking bars from back when he uh, was doing his home builds. So I'm um, using both of them here, using this first one because it has a really small lip there uh, to really kind of get up inside that J-channel without pushing the rivet out of the way. Um, so initially setting it with this, it doesn't have enough mass I'm finding, or at least I don't really want to rail into it. I really want to make sure I can keep any deformation from happening. So initially setting it with this and then coming it back after uh, with this more hefty one, uh, which also fits inside of that J channel. 
uh, that J stiffener, but you'll see it's a little bit thicker. Um, so it initially would be in the way of that J stiffener, but after I got that initial set, halfway or so, then coming back after with this, uh, which kind of nests up nicely up inside of that, uh, that J stiffener. I'll try to get, um, at the very last rib here, I'll try to get a shot through the rib. It's gonna be a hard shot to get, but uh, if you get into this section here, you're probably gonna need some kind of a, uh, uh, another form of bucking bar. Uh, I know there are some free ones that come with some kits. Um, not free, but there, I know there are some that come with, with kits that already have um, different angles and whatnot. My kit from Cleveland did not come with it. Um, so anyways, get back to this, uh, but hopefully you can get some good angles here for you. Um, but those are pretty looking rivets. I'll see if I can get a mirror image on camera for you. Hey, look at that. Hopefully you can see on camera. But anyways, maybe you'll have to take my word for it, but they're real nice looking rivets, uh, not leaned over or anything, uh, but real nice and square rivets, so happy with it. All right, I think this is the best shot I can get. Uh, but coming through, you'll see if I can get my finger in the screen there. Anyways, we're gonna go ahead and set that rivet there. You'll see that J channel uh, kind of traverses this way, and that's where I'm gonna have to tuck up uh, that bucking bar up underneath. So we'll give this a shot real quick here. I'm gonna come back after with this larger bucking bar. Should be all that's needed. I'm content with that. Yeah, that's a little better. And I apologize for the bad angle there. Um, that last shot that you had uh, was coming from that wise camera there, which was perfectly in line, just so you couldn't see what was happening. But uh, basically what was happening was we had it propped up or held up um, using this first table here. It had a bunch of heavy things on the bottom, uh, which was, seemed sketchy, but it held. Uh, but had it clamped down on this side, a tie down just for the off chance that that clamp failed at a horrible time. Um, and then actually was just perched on this table here. And I was able to um, basically hoist up the leading edge by myself there and then my dad went and threw Clecos randomly and then I joined him on the outside, finished Clecoing it and moved over into this wing stand here. Uh, so that's how we did it. Um, overall, it went together really, really well. Uh, I'm not gonna be able to, let me get this camera positioned here. No good angle to get here, um, but um, I'm not gonna be able to call this complete because of course the other one is missing a whole lot of other rivets that are needed before we can get it to the stage. Um, but. The other outward leaning edge is inside the house. It is at that similar state where it's the whole structure is complete, just ready for that one to be ready for it. So uh, we'll call it complete in the future, uh, but I think for the foreseeable future, we'll be doing a whole lot of these little one-off projects here and there. Um, these wings are a beast, a lot of moving pieces on them or a lot of, uh, a lot of components to get to. So I'm happy with the results. Uh, in order to move forward though, if I was to call this one complete, basically I just have to uh, buck the remainder of these rivets here to the spar, Backside here, I should be able to squeeze the ones on the bottom portion of it. And then there's gonna be some LP 4-3, 3-4, some kind of a pulled rivet um, connecting to those inner ribs through the inside of the spark. So we'll have a few more things going. Uh, next video will probably involve this wing cradle here. Uh, I'm not sure if I'll make that a standalone video uh, or just make it part of the next video that we do for uh, top skin riveting on the right wing. We'll see what we do, uh, but uh, if you made it this far, thank you so much for watching. Thanks for liking if you do, and uh, we'll see you in the next video. Adios.